220 million people, 220 million people around the world have diabetes. Three and a half million people a year die as a, as a complication of diabetes. Poor diagnosis and ineffective treatment of diabetes puts millions of people worldwide at risk for early death. They examined at the University of Washington in Seattle in cooperation with the World Health Organization, they examined diabetes diagnosis, treatment, and management in six different, seven different countries, Colombia, England, Iran, Mexico, Scotland, Thailand, and the United States. You ready? What the, you want to know what they found out? Most people with diagnosed with diabetes do not receive treatment for other risk factors that are just as dangerous to their health as the uncontrolled blood sugar. Now, in diabetes, you know for a fact it is a chronic disease characterized by elevated levels of blood sugar. And what they're saying in this research report from the University of Washington is that a good percentage of people are not even having proper management of that blood sugar, let alone looking at the prevention of some of the major complications and consequences of being a diabetic. In fact, your doctor won't even bring them up unless you do. So what we have organized and what the University of Washington has organized and the U.S. National Library of Medicine has organized are the 10 top complications, if you will, the 10 top sequelae consequences of having diabetes, of having uncontrolled diabetes. What do you have to watch out for? Your doctor might not be doing this. You're going to have to do it. Ultimately, you are responsible for your health. Whether you're diabetic or not, doesn't matter right now. You are responsible for your health. Bottom line, nobody else is. You are the CEO. You're the chief operating officer, the chief officer of your health, period. It's your decisions. You've got to hire the right people. You've got to make all the decisions. So the complications of being a diabetic is a full-time job. And therefore, if you are a diabetic or you know somebody that's a diabetic, they've got 10 other problems to deal with, to look out for, in addition to controlling the blood sugar. And remember that report that I just read, read to you. It said a low percentage of patients receive the proper treatment for their blood glucose, let everything else. And most people diagnosed with diabetes do not receive treatment for these 10 other problems that are major consequences that are part of the deaths related to the thir three and a half million deaths related to diabetes. So the question is, and this is, this is going to be a quiz, of course, later on in the week, what are the 10 most uh, possible long-term complications of a person that's diabetic? Okay, here we go. Number one, atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. No doubt about it. Number two, damage to the kidneys, the nerves, and the eyes. Kidney failure is a major problem. Neuropathy, that degeneration of the axon, of the body of nerves, mostly in your extremities. And of course, retinopathy. We've, we don't talk much about rep retinopathy. We don't get too many questions about retinopathy. We could speak about it because 25 million Americans have diabetes and a good percentage of them have this retinopathy, this issue where there's a progressive stage of, of decline in vision. We'll have to spend some time on that. Yet, it's not managed or even talked about for the most part. So number one complication of diabetes is hardening of the arteries. Number two, damage to the kidneys. Number three, damage to your nerves called neuropathy. And number four, damage to your eyes called retinopathy. Number five, erectile dysfunction. Number six, elevated levels of cholesterol. Number seven, high blood pressure. Number eight, repeated infections, mostly of the urinary tract, many times repeated infections of the skin. Number nine, stroke, and number 10, peripheral vascular disease. You know, keeping control of blood sugar is important. There's no doubt about that. But it appears that for the most part, that is where the concentration of, uh, it seems to be. 
and there's very little effect, very little impact at looking at these other areas. And look, the University of, 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 of Washington in Seattle hit this right on the head. They said 90% of U.S. adult adults, more than 16 million adults aged 35 and older, have ineffective treatment of blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. And it said the low percentage of diabetes patients achieve treatment for these 10 other issues that we just mentioned. It said too many people are not being diagnosed with diabetes and related cardiovascular disease risk factors, and those who are diagnosed haven't been treated effectively. Now, why is that? Is it because there's no medication for every one of these complications? Is it that doctors have seven to 10 minutes to spend with you? I don't know. I don't know what the rationale is. I do know that hardening of the arteries, damage to the kidneys, the nerves, and your eyes, erectile dysfunction, elevated levels of cholesterol and lipids like that, high blood pressure, infections, repeated infections systemically, stroke and peripheral vascular disease are major complications of diabetes that there is absolutely no time spent in discussing prevention. Forget about that. But there's very little effort to, to control or treat these problems or even discuss these problems unless you bring them up. So if you don't say to the doctor, you know, I'm noticing my legs are tingling and burning and I'm losing sensation. I feel like I'm walking with in sand all the time. My feet are tingling. It might never be talked about. It might never be checked. You might never be asked any questions. If you don't say, you know, my eyes are getting a little funky. I'm starting to have a little bit of blurry vision. It's not going to be talked about or asked unless you bring that up. Really ridiculous, right? But that's the way it is. So I want you to know those 10 complications, uh, consequences, sequela, you can call them whatever you want to, of diabetes. Considering we're dealing with so many millions of people that have diabetes, you know somebody with diabetes. I, I guarantee you.